Hey everyone, Tony George, DocSports.com, a Saturday college football free play, State of Texas, TCU, taking on SMU. We're going to talk about that game, and then we're going to go ahead and tell you what's going on over at the website. You're not going to want to miss out this weekend. You're going to want to take advantage of that free $60 link in the description below, and let us park $60 in any new account. You can use it to get all your premium plays free on Saturday and Sunday. So... Be sure and stay tuned for that. Um, let's get this uh, free pick out here. Now, we didn't win our last free pick. Uh, West Virginia got over on Virginia Tech. Boy, they just imploded in the fourth quarter there. That defense gave up, got, out, got outscored 17-0. Uh, we had a premium play on the money line with Coastal Carolina, uh, which was a no-sweat winner. And I really kind of thought that BT might pull the upset there in Blacksburg a little bit. Uh, wouldn't be a huge upset, but... Uh, West Virginia was a better team last uh, on Thursday night, and I was wrong. So let's get some right this weekend, for sure. So this game here is played in SMU, um, and it's interesting um, that last year SMU went into TCU and beat them with TCU's head coach, Sonny Dykes. Now he took the TCU job after they let go of Patterson, and he's down at Texas being a DC now with Sarkeesian, but... It's a high-scoring shootout last year. I think it was 42-38. Don't quote me, but it was in that range. And the total in this game is 70 and a half. And the spread is TCU minus two. Or, if you like the favorite in a game like this, why lay two when you can lay 125 on the money line? Always, that's one of the best. That's a good handicapping tip. If you're laying one, one and a half, two, even two and a half, and you can get two and a half at minus 130-ish, why put points into it? Just play the money line. But if you like it, you like it. You know, and that's going to be the case here. But let's talk about this. TCU, we talk about the old school 200-200 club, being balance on offense. This is an old Joe Gavassi rule uh, that he taught me years and years ago. But TCU's offense has been impressive. Now, they... they Roy really haven't played anybody. They beat up on Colorado, but who doesn't beat up on Colorado? And SMU lost last week against Maryland, a game where I had Maryland as a pick. Uh, played a pretty good game, but I saw a lot of deficiencies in that team last week, especially defensively. And that's going to be a problem in this game for, T for SMU. And I'll tell you why. You take a look at, at uh, TCU's offense here. Ninth in the country at 521 yards. And, of course, SMU's no slouch at 516 yards. They're 12th. But when you look at TCU's offense, 294 yards throwing the ball game, 227 rushing it. That's 18th in the country. And where the mismatch is is the fact that TCU can't stop anybody running the football. They're ranked 105th, giving up almost 200 yards a game. And when you have that kind of balance on offense and that ability to run the football, you are controlling the line of scrimmage. And I think TCU probably has better athletes than SMU overall. SMU's got that, I think his name is Rice, if I'm not mistaken. A wide receiver, probably going to be an NFL player. He's almost uncoverable. So they're going to get some yards through the air there. But I think TCU can control and eat the control the line of scrimmage and eat the clock here a little bit better than what SMU can. And what does that mean? That means I like the under, this is a lean, both side and total. I like the under, 70 and a half. More than I like TCU in this game. I think TCU will beat him. I think Dykes will want to go in there and beat his old school that he was coaching at. And who knows the SMU roster better than the guy that recruited 90% of the players on it. That'd be Sonny Dykes. Head coach of TCU. TCU minus 125. Take the two points out of it. A little heavier lean on the under 70 and a half in this game. I think TCU will run the ball effectively. Keep SMU off the field. Keep the scoring down. 70 and a half is a ton of points. And I know everybody's going to expect the old K Corral shootout here in Texas, you know, but at the end of the day, I like TCU in this game. I definitely like the under. Over at DocSports.com, we give you a free 60 bucks. Link in the description below. Park it in any new member account. You can use it all weekend. Daily packages are $30. So you get college and you get pro. And in college, we have a three-pack 
with a seven unit top play totals play on Saturday. Now these top picks in college football are documented 16 and three my last 19 in college football. We've hit back to back seven unit plays the last two weekends and that's dating back to last year. Just on an epic run there. I didn't like the board a whole lot on uh, Saturday, but we isolated just three games. I think it's a very tricky board on Saturday. So it's probably not going to be what you think. You know, and I just wasn't willing to spread it around and take chances. In the NFL on Sunday, it's time for a good NFL Sunday. We had a bad Sunday last week. I tell it like it is. I don't pull any punches with you guys and gals. So we have a four-pack with a teaser. We have a five-unit totals play and a couple of side picks for you. There in the NFL, we'll have NASCAR on Sunday, and we'll have prop bets. Last night, the Thursday night NFL game, 3-0 and on prop bets. Interesting, because we won two of those prop bets by a total of two and a half yards. How close was the Mitch Trubisky prop bet on under 207.5 yards? He threw for 207. Jacoby Brissett, over nine yards rushing. He had 11. Whew. A win is a win. And we had, of course, Nick Chubb getting a touchdown, which was a no-brainer. Booyah. So look for those player props on Sunday in the NFL. We'll have three or four of them for you. And Monday night game, we're passing on, but we're going to do prop bets on that too. Have a great weekend. Booyah.